Hey guys, I'm um, CX Boy here, and as promised, I'm gonna make a um, YouTube video tutorial for Windows how to install BFG Miner. So, um, if you're using if you're using Mac, uh, please check out my uh, Mac tutorial for that. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Go to your um, internet browser. I'm using Google Chrome, and uh, Hopefully my stupid internet will work. Uh, search BFG Miner and click on bfgminer.org and install your Windows version. Um, so these are just the uh, how say uh, change log, um, the info, um, and I'm um, mine's um, Windows 64 bit. So click on that and it shouldn't take long to install uh, to download bfg minus zip uh, show folder click on it and um, drag this drag the extracted folder to your desktop um, it will make your life easier uh, and then um, go to silicon labs usb to uart driver search that and um, you're gonna first one okay on the first result and you see this page so it collapsed and uh, click on download download for Windows XP slash blah 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 slash 7 um, this is Windows 7 so download this one uh, download VCP click on it I got that download and uh, installed so um, yeah um afterwards close the browser and click on your folder and uh, click this click this application so you can make a um shortcut drag it to your f um, desktop and click on it um run and as you can see you you get this um command window uh, i'm using a block eruptor so I'll get my block eruptor plugged in mm -hmm. and uh, the URL um, just type uh, any uh, type your pool address I'm using a uh, stratum Bitcoin dot CZ uh, slash pool so I'll type that in stratum dot Bitcoin dot CZ and then um, the URL includes the port so colon 3333 it's 3333 and username 6 boy.youtube and password 123456 so um, as you can see there's no uh, no device for now uh, plus M manage devices M and then plus uh, like right next to backspace and enter target um, go to your um, control panel and click hardware and sounds um, device and printer and afterwards you should see this one USB to AT, uh, ATA bridge that doesn't that's not um, click on unspecified like scroll down to unspecified and you can see here Silicon Labs uh, CP210X USB to UART bridge and remember this one is COM3 yours might be different but um, mine's COM3 so I'll remember that uh, just minimize it and click eruptor colon backslash backslash dot backslash COM3 so now you'll see a BES0 uh, device scan succeeded and then um, identify and uh, enter so now um, it should start hashing um, so yeah let's just go to my um, profile and slush pool website here, Bitcoin. 
uh, uh, mining dot bitcoin. Um, accept it, share, and um, let's just confirm that I'm I'm linked to uh, the website, the server. So click on my account. And as you can see, um, YouTube one two three five six uh, zero point eight four mega hash. That 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 is not true. Um, that that is just the average. So um, this reflects on this one. Uh, so after ten rounds, you probably see um, the hash rate. Um, speed um, will go near to um, 300 and 33 I'm using one block eruptor so as you can see there's only one device and uh, last share is 0 minutes uh, score that doesn't matter it's cone share so now I got 5 let's reload the page and you see 5 so yeah that's how you um, that's how you uh, install, set, install and set up uh, BFG Miner and uh, Block Eruptor. But yeah, that's how you install um, uh, BFG Miner and um, start hashing. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and uh, comment if you have any questions. Uh, I'm more than happy to answer it. Um, so hope you guys have a nice day and uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace.